Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again, everybody. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. My business partner, Art Kirsch, and I are with the fabulous love and relationship coach, Michelle Fabrica. Michelle, great to see you again. <laughs> Thanks, John. Hey, Art. Good to be here with you both. Hi, Michelle. Uh, you know, um, a lot of times uh, when we have conversations with you, uh, it gets down to the fact that when people are, are dealing with an issue of one kind or another, it's because they feel somehow inadequate because they see other people who just seem to be going through life without a care in the world. And and uh, uh, quite frankly, I guess for those people, a lot of them, they're uh, they have a, uh, uh, they're either jealous that somebody else could just sort of easily glide through life's issues or things like that. Uh, can you maybe uh, uh, give some thoughts about uh, maybe somebody building a, a self confidence that they could be just as good as anybody else? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, because I, I think this topic is important because you know oftentimes you know envy arises in inside us, right? We we feel a sense of lack as we, if we compare ourselves to somebody else and what they have. And I just want to, um, I, I myself get confused sometimes between jealousy and envy. I have to, I've seen different um, definitions, but basically envy is related to a feeling of lack and jealousy is often related to a fear of loss. So I am going to talk about envy in this situation, in, in, in this topic today. And, and it's really about how can we harness envy and use it as inspiration? <laughs> and, you know, easier said than done, right? But but basically, you know, it's a signal. It's sort of like the key about envy is when we feel it towards someone else, maybe they have a great relationship or they're really successful um, and that things seem to come easy to them. Like you said, it's like if we spend too many cycles on what's happening out there, then we're not here at home discovering, wow, how can I make my life better? Or I want a beautiful relationship. You know, maybe I need to put more effort towards that. Or maybe I want to, or if I'm in a relationship, you know, how do I improve the one I'm in? So we want to make sure the first thing is to bring our focus back to ourselves. Yeah, there's a signal there that we see in someone else. And it could be like, you know, a movie star or even our next door neighbor. But let's bring it back to what's not happening here. And what can I do to develop my life? You know, Michelle, that that uh, what comes to mind is the old phrase, the grass is always greener, uh, mm -hmm. you know, on the far off hills. And I, it does sound like because we all go through this every so often, you know, nobody's immune from envy, being envious. <laughs> um, but it does sound like there there are some people who are just focused on what everybody else has. And and as you point out, that's not always good. Yeah, yeah. It can, I mean, a real, if we're spending too much time comparing ourselves, we're really going to feel down on ourselves. We're, you know, we're always going to find someone who, frankly, is, you know, quote unquote, more successful or more attractive or, you know, younger or, you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever you want to think about. Sure. But, um, yeah, that doesn't really help us, right? So one of the things that's important to do, too, is to take stock of what we do have and what we have achieved. So it's sort of like, appreciating what we've created in our lives. Like if we look at our life like a garden or something, what have we been cultivating? What are we growing? What have we experienced, you know, and have some appreciation for our own, our own journey, our own path. We all have started with different, you know, experiences and, you know, different skills and, um, you know, talents. And so, you know, let's see what we have cultivated with what we do have. Yeah. You know, it seems, it seems as if uh, maybe we need to take a uh, uh, a page out of uh, Mr. Rogers' book. And uh, everybody is special. And we have our own uh, pluses. Uh, not minuses. Forget about that. That's not Mr. Rogers' message. We all are special. And, Challenges. Uh, yeah. And uh, so uh, maybe that's a, a good uh, a, a good thing for us to pay attention to. Do you have any uh, final hints on how somebody can uh, 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 in increase their self-awareness and uh, liking themselves more? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, so sometimes it's about 
um, to look deeper at what's going on. So we might like, you know, maybe a friend got a big, you know, new high powered job and we're like, wow, I'm feeling envious of that person, but yet I don't really want to have a big, you know, engaging, you know, high responsibility job. So what is it about it? So sometimes we have to get curious. We have to look a little deeper at what's going on. And it might be that, you know, maybe they're getting some recognition that we're wanting more of in our life. And how can we find more of that for ourselves in our own way? Or even if somebody maybe gets laid off, we're like, God, you know, I'd love some more free time or this job isn't really doing it for me. So, you know, so sometimes it's not directly what someone else has. It's what brings up, what comes up in us. That's kind of like what to look at. And that's sort of the, um, the signals to, to, um, Pay attention to, because, you know, one of my mentors talks about longing and discontent, and she sees that, she, she sees longing and discontent as sacred signals from our soul. And, um, yeah, it's kind of like, rather than just like, try to, oh, well, let's just be, it's all good, we'll just be grateful here. Many of us were conditioned to not want more than we have, or not to be greedy, right? But sometimes it's good to take a look, what do you long for? And what are your discontents? And that's somewhere to kind of like start getting curious about and not like to push them away, but to kind of like, ooh, information for me, right? Hmm. Yeah. You have to be uh, willing to look, uh, as you say, deeply at yourself. Uh, why am I feeling this way? You know, and do I really, am I envious of that? Do I really want that? You know, or yeah. am I just, am I just, being envious. Yeah. And is there something that I can do to change my situation and what I might want to have? And, and the final point I want to make really is that a lot of people think that there's like a limited amount of good to go around, limited amount of success or relationship, joy, joy or happiness or whatever. And, and it's really not true. I mean, there is plenty to go around and we can yeah. have the attitude of abundance rather than like a scarcity mindset then we can just stay in that possibility and cultivate, you know, what it is we truly desire. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow, Great, uh, great analysis. I appreciate that. That's, um, that, that's helpful. Thank you. Yeah. For more on celebrating act two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube and tell your friends, Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.